The future of wilderness rests where the future of most everything else rests, in youth. What needs to be realized is that it is up to us to build up the importance of the natural world and fight to see that importance protected and honored. Ultimately, we will either find ourselves surrounded or suffering the need to compensate the loss of a world we've forgotten that we've come from. Now tell us what's been going on. Okay, so we've been trying to get people to sign this petition to stop the killing of the Mexican grave wolves in southwestern New Mexico. Because there are only 23 left in the wildlife. And we need to save them. <laughs> and what has been the general response from some of the students here at Amy Bill? Well, we've been getting a lot of support, but there's a few students who I thought everyone would be willing to sign it, but it kind of hurts that they didn't sign it. They didn't really care about it. They were already too focused on what they were including. Yeah, it was pretty selfish of them. Yeah. Oh, we're activists. Woo! Why are you an activist? What? <laughs> Why are you an activist? Because I care. Because you care? I care about the environment, animals, the, the ecosystem. I'm an activist because it gets stuff done and without us nothing would happen from the people. It would just be the stupid government officials that we elect. So, power to the people. And I just got my signature from knocking on a guy's window. <laughs> I'm writing to you today to show that I am greatly dissatisfied with the way you have handled the wolf recovery plan. I'm so sad to see that what could have been success is slowly being cut down with your choice of action. I hope one day I may be able to show my children this gorgeous, intelligent animal in the wild. I also would like to ask why shoot a beautiful, almost extinct creature for killing some livestock that can easily be reimbursed? Please stop the killing so that we can get control over a soon to be disaster. Sincerely, Vanessa McDaniel. That's it. We're done. Okay, you are probably familiar with the fact that our, there are only 23 Mexican gray wolves left in New Mexico. It seems that your wolf recovery program has been ignored for quite some time, and it seems that certain ranchers who do not like the wolves have baited them out with cattle for an excuse to kill the wolves and maybe collect profit. profit. It also seems that you are not doing anything about it just because you will make less money. I think it, that life is priceless and you are letting some of these wolves die just so you can make a quick buck. That's pretty heartless. Who's an activist? I am. Um, wolves. I'm writing to you today to express my concern on what is happening and not happening with the Mexican gray wolf. These beautiful animals are disappearing slowly as of today there are only 23 left in the wild. How low are you going to let the numbers fall before you actually do something about these lobos? This whole situation makes me really sad. I can't even find the words to explain it. I don't understand why the farmers have the right to kill these animals after three counts of killing livestock. The only reason they kill the livestock is because they have nothing else to eat. The livestock will get reimbursed to begin with. I don't think enough people know about the lobos, and that's why you think it's okay. The next time people will know what is happening with the lobos is when they are gone. Sincerely, Adriana Garcia. Dear United States Fish and Wildlife Service, we are students from Amyville High School and we are not happy with the progress made in the recovery of the Mexican gray wolf, also known as the lobo. As taxpayers, we are not satisfied with the way you have been spending our money. As you may know, there are only 23 Mexican gray wolves left in New Mexico, and there has been no attempt to save this vital species. How long will you wait before making a change? Will you wait until there is no hope of saving them at all? Writing them off as you attend seemingly more important matters? These wolves are a key element of our New Mexico ecosystem, and if lost, we will all suffer the consequences. Thank you for your time, Tara McDonough and Ian Anderson. Good job.
Booyah. Full. <laughs> the activists start walking down the streets to take on the man. Oh! God, they're gonna hear us coming and like bar the doors. <laughs> No, what if I like hunting wolves? That's what if my whole family is ranchers, Tara? Well, you see, if and the wolves... And your wolves are eating my cows. A. Do you know how much there's a worth? So, if the wolves are eradicated, then the elk and deer will overpopulate and become disease-ridden because there'll be no wolves to pick off the sick ones or the weak ones, so they would also have a weaker gene pool because the weak ones are breeding. And they would be lazy and not want to migrate. This is proven because Yellowstone tried it. <laughs> Um, okay, I'll sign it. Let me read it first, though. You convinced me that speech. Tell us about your experience today. Like, what have you what have you been doing, and what has been the general reaction of people you've been talking to? It's been a positive reaction. Yes, like everybody signed it. Let me ask. Some people know already about like the wolf situation and stuff, and like Rob, he like explained it to the class more, which is like helpful because yeah, everyone looked cool. Yeah. And everyone was open to it, so and most I think pretty much everyone signed it anyway, so yeah, good turnout. That's what I like about the schools, everyone wants to do their part. <coughs> and everyone's open to stuff like that. It's, do you feel like this is an effective way to um, make people's voices heard? Oh, yes. Yeah. Strength in numbers, man. Save the wolves. That's it. Save the lobos. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, thank you. Thank you, guys. Dear U.S. Fish and Wildlife Service, I am an 11th grade student at Amy Real High School and I feel strongly about helping save the lobos. Lobos play an important part in our ecosystem and it is natural for them to hunt to be predators. It is unfair for us to kill lobos because of their natural instincts to kill for food. I believe along with many of my fellow students at Amy Real High School that it is necessary to change the laws to protect the lobos. Thank you for your time and consideration. Sincerely, let's protect them. David, how do you feel? I feel great. I feel like I'm making a difference, Nathan. <laughs> hey, people! You should come sign this petition to help save the Mexican gray wolf. Save the lobo! There's only 23 of them left. See that? Can you Reinstate see? the hunting ban. <laughs> okay. Thank you yeah. so much. I didn't Signing this. Save the Lobos! Oh! 